Here's the first problem, and the first problem, x represents the radius. Um, but the best thing to do is go ahead and find this entire diameter first, because if we do that, we can label that side A. <clears throat> and then once we have that, then we can simply take half of that, and that'll give us our x, right? And so here, this is our C, our hypotenuse, that's our B. So since we're looking for A, it's going to be 25 squared minus 7 squared. And we're going to solve for A. So simplify. So 25 squared is 625. 7 squared is 49. 625 minus 49 is 576. And the square root of that gives me 24. Now remember that 24 represents the diameter we want the radius because that's what represents x so here x is 12. okay looking at the second problem um we kind of run into the same thing that x represents the distance from the outside of the circle um, we don't know this right so this, however, represents the radius, which we know the radius is 10 because of this over here. And so the best thing to do here is go ahead and find this entire length. We'll call it C. Once we know the length, we simply subtract 10, which is the radius, from it, and that's going to give us our x value. And so here, since we're looking for C, it's simply going to be 24 squared plus 10 squared. And so 24 squared is 576 plus 100. And we're looking to take the square root of 676, which is approximate, or which is exactly, sorry, 26. And so once we subtract 10 from that, we get our x value which is 16. So for this one, x is 16.